Welcome to day 1,799 of What Shift Now. Sharon Horn Elson here with my Follow Your Dreams pillow. It's always been truly by me. I like to remind myself daily that we need to all follow our dreams, but especially that I need to follow my own dreams. So today we're talking about in uh, Supersize Your Business for Female Entrepreneurs, this group, we had the idiom, a clean or clear conscience makes a soft Hello. Never heard that one before, so we talked about that. Where did it come from? It's been around uh, in our conscience, and our conscience, conscience has been around, and not the word for it, but the thought about having our conscience be clear, making sure that we're doing the right thing, we're being good originally in the Bible, but probably before that there was good and evil. But in the Bible, it talks a lot about the idea of having a clean and clear conscience, meaning it's easier to sleep, it's easier to rest at night. If we don't have anything to feel guilty about, if we know or at least believe that we haven't done anything wrong, it's easier for us to rest and sleep at night. Also, uh, if we don't have any guilt or remorse over anything, it's also easier to sleep at night. So as we're building and growing our business, how does that come into play? Maybe we're feeling upset or guilty because we treated somebody in a way that wasn't how we like to be treated or how we like to treat other people. Maybe we snapped at one of our employees. Maybe we snapped at someone in our family because we're stressed out about something as we're building and growing our business. Maybe we, I don't know, there's all kinds of things. Maybe we forgot to pay a bill or whatever. There's so many things that can happen that can stress us out and stress can cause us to lose sleep at night. Usually because there's something going on in our head or a million something's going on in our head that keep our attention and make it really, really difficult to sleep. Our topic and our two questions for today for this year's BU 365 Day Challenge to do one thing every day that improves us. The first one was, do you exist before you are born? The whole pre-existence, before birth idea. Uh, do you believe in that? Do you think that we as humans or we as people here on the planet Earth, our soul or our spirit or whatever you want to call it, do you believe that that or our, any form of our consciousness exists before we're born. I think we've talked about reincarnation and, and afterlife. Whoa, I kicked my lights. A little wobbly now. I haven't been drinking, just water. Um, and our second question was, what is consciousness? What is it to you? What does it mean to you to be conscious? To me, it's being aware of myself, my thoughts, my feelings, my beliefs, my actions, and the world around me, what's going on around me. That forms my reality, right? what I'm aware of and paying attention to creates my reality and guess what it does it for everybody else on the planet as well that's why all of our reality is different and unique to us just like our consciousness what we're aware of with respect to our thoughts our feelings our beliefs and the world around us is is slightly skewed and different for each and every one of us it's how some people can think something's perfectly okay that we think is absolutely ridiculous and heinous and how could anyone ever think or do or say that thing so those were our two uh, pieces of content today. Wrapping up after the holidays, we finally did our, our final Christmas yesterday and got everything opened and now it's a matter of putting it away and figuring out what to do with it and then figuring out what to replace and let go of so that we can make room in our lives for all of the new things that came into it. Sometimes that's relationships, sometimes that's uh, changes in our life, sometimes that's just a lot of stuff that we got for Christmas months whatever it is for you so hanging out with my amazing granddaughter today her mommy is going to the doctor she's working on baby number two right now due in February so I am hanging out with my little amazing granddaughter which always brings me a whole lot of delight and joy she is just absolutely amazing but if you need anything ask you know how to get a hold of me if you don't that's your first challenge figure it out it's not that hard and no Granddaughters are awesome for baby shark band-aids when you have a, a cut on your thumb. Don't ask how I got it. It's crazy. All right. Have an awesome day, and I'll be with you tomorrow.